my 15 year old portable butane gas stove seems to have finally died. It won't start very easily. I think it's just oxidized and corroded inside and um, probably not worth fixing. So it's time for a briefing on how we cook on the Vicar. The boat's original gimbaled gas stove has long since been removed. Maybe it's time to look for an alternative. We asked our double-handed offshore racing friends um, what they used, and they swear by a gimbaled jet boil. So I went and had a look. They look pretty good, really nice actually, very compact. Boils water really quickly. So you can get a jet boil, but then you've got to get a gimbal for it. Um, this will boil water, ridiculous heels. Won't cook my bacon for my sandwich in the morning, though. So maybe we will get one of these when we cross the Atlantic. According to YouTube, every middle-aged sailor worth his salt is building a galley box and putting an alcohol stove in it. So I thought I'd have a look at one of those. Something tells me this one was made in China. It's a bit of an adventure lighting it. I'm going to use matches and everything. Um, not sure I like the idea of liquid fuel, just a light. I'm sure that there are far better designs, um, you know, transiers and, and, and the like, which look far safer. But for me, I really don't want this on my boat. Certainly not in the cockpit on the pitching deck. And I do like the idea of the galley box, as most of our cooking is outside in the cockpit. We need a windshield as well. So I made one. And oh look, look what's inside. A new butane portable gas stove, 15 quid from Halfords, can't complain. But I don't want to catch fire, so I uh, bent a bit of aluminium, which I'm going to bolt to the inside as a heat shield. and added a couple of teak handles so I can move it around. Little hinge section on the front just so I can get to the controls. Obviously it needs a lick of paint. In true galley box style, the lid becomes a convenient tray. And here it is, in position in the cabin on the boat. Don't do an awful lot of cooking inside, or we do make the odd cup of tea like today when it's chucking it down outside. That's really stable. Heat shield's working great. Outside the box doesn't get hot at all. Very happy with the result. Of course the galley box means you can move it outside and cook in the cockpit and it's it's very useful for moving all of the stuff from the cabin into the cockpit that you need to make yourself a cup of coffee. Now coffee bags are great, but sometimes all you need is an espresso. So this is my little portable hand pumped espresso machine, a hand presso. It is basically a bike pump attached to a chamber. There's no pressure in it at the moment, but you pump it up by hand. It takes about 20 or 30 pumps until the gauge goes into the green and you're all primed. Oh, 
I you you can um, grind your own coffee, but I prefer to use one of these little easy serving espresso pods. They're really convenient and taste great. Once your water's boiled, you can use the flask and just use really hot water, but as we've got boiling water. Fill up the little chamber, doesn't take much, as it is an espresso. Pop your pod on it, and then put the lid on. I like to give it a little shake just to wet it a bit. And then you espresso your coffee. Just press the little button, and the pressure of the air you've pumped in there forces the water, the boiling water, through the coffee, and you get an espresso. Thanks very much for watching. Any questions, as usual, just pop it in the comments and I'll uh, attempt to reply. Uh, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time.